Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Canvas. In this video, we are going to discuss IUPAC nomenclature of cycloalkenes. Cycloalkenes are the compounds having one or more CC double bonds inside a ring but has no aromatic character. There are certain basic rules which we should remember for IUPAC naming of cycloalkenes. These rules are ring containing double bond is the parent chain. Numbering is done in such a way that the double bond carbons get number 1 and 2 and the first substituted carbon gets the lowest possible number. If counting in either direction leads to the same number for the alkenic carbons and the same lowest number are numbers for one more uh, one or more substituents then follow the rule of first point of difference according to which the correct numbering gives the smallest possible number at the first point of difference. If there is tie at all the points then follow the alphabet rule according to which correct numbering gives lowest possible number to the branched carbon with the group which comes first in the alphabetical order. A number is not needed to denote the position of double bond. IUPAC nomenclature contains four main parts in the order substituents, prefix cyclo, parent chain and ene. Let's go through the examples for more clarification. Suppose we have to give IUPAC name of this cycloalkene molecule. First we will find parent chain. In this molecule 5 carbon ring is the parent chain. So it will be named as pent. Numbering of parent chain. We know that carbon with the double bond get number 1 and 2. So we can do clockwise numbering as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and anti-clockwise numbering as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. As we can see that there is only one substituted carbon and clockwise numbering gives lower number to it. So the clockwise numbering is the correct numbering. Substituents. There is one ethyl substituent at C3. So it will be written as 3 ethyl. Now we will merge these information to get IUPAC name. Substituents plus prefix cyclo plus parent chain plus in, which will be 3 ethyl plus cyclo plus pent plus in. Since while merging, there should not be any space, comma, or dash between two alphabets. So the IPSC name of this molecule will be 3 ethyl cyclopentene. Let's take another molecule. In this molecule, parent chain is 6 carbon ring. So it will be named as hex. Numbering of parent chain. We know that carbons with double bond get 1 and 2. So we can do clockwise numbering as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And anti-clockwise numbering as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. As we can see that there are two substituted carbons. Clockwise numbering gives 3 and 4 numbers to the substituted carbons and anti-clockwise numbering gives 5 and 6. Since clockwise numbering gives lower number to the first substituted carbon, so 
clockwise numbering is the correct numbering substituents there are two substituents an ethyl at c4 and a methyl at c3 so the substituents will be written as 4 ethyl 3 methyl now we will merge these informations to get IUPAC name substituents plus prefix cyclo plus parent chain plus in which will be 4 ethyl 3 methyl plus cyclo plus hex plus in so the IUPAC name will be 4 ethyl 3 methyl cyclohexene another example in this molecule parent chain is 6 carbon ring so it will be named as hex numbering a parent chain we know that carbon with double bond get 1 and 2 so we can do clockwise numbering as 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and anti-clockwise numbering as 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 as we can see that there are two substituted carbons clockwise numbering gives 2 and 4 numbers while anti-clockwise numbering gives 1 and 5 to the substituted carbons since anti-clockwise numbering gives lower number to the first substituted carbon so the anti-clockwise numbering is the correct numbering substituents there are two substituents an ethyl at c5 and a methyl at c1 so the substituents will be written as 5 ethyl 1 methyl now we will merge these informations to get IUPAC name substituents plus cyclo plus parent chain plus in which will be 5 ethyl 1 methyl plus cyclo plus hex plus in so the IPAC name of this molecule will be 5 ethyl 1 methyl cyclohexene last example in this molecule also parent chain is 6 carbon ring so it will be named as hex numbering up parent chain we know that the carbons with double bond get number one and two so we can do clockwise numbering as one two three four five and six and anti-clockwise numbering as one two three four five and six as we can see there are three substituted carbons clockwise numbering gives 3 4 and 6 numbers to the substituted carbons while anti clockwise numbering gives 3 5 and 6 this is the first point of difference and we can see that the clockwise numbering gives lower number so the clockwise numbering is the correct numbering substituents there are three substituents a bromo at c6 a chloro at c3 and a methyl at c4 so the substituents will be written as 6 bromo 3 chloro 4 methyl now we will merge these informations to get IUPAC name substituent prefix cyclo plus parent chain plus in which will be 6 bromo 3 chloro 4 methyl plus cyclo plus hex plus in so the IPAC name of this molecule will be 6 bromo 3 chloro 4 methyl cyclohexene that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video